Remember, Tesla has a bunch of other technologies, the Tesla supercharger network and power pack batteries and solar panels that it builds at the Buffalo, New York Gigafactory. Okay, take those and put them together. While you're at it, put the solar roof and power walls together. Not sure how you're supposed to put them together? Okay, try this. Picture a neighborhood of homes all with Tesla solar roofs and power walls. What does that look like? A self-powered neighborhood. Exactly, a microgrid. Homes creating and storing power and sharing it with their neighbors. Now picture the supercharger network. Picture a supercharger location with say 12 stalls, all covered with solar panels and some power packs too. Now try this. Picture a bunch of big commercial buildings all covered with Tesla solar panels and some more power packs. What does that look like? A self-powered office park. Now do you see what Tesla is becoming? A power utility. Exactly. When you think of a grid scale utility company, you probably think of PG&E or Con Edison or National Grid. Giant utility companies that own giant gas, nuclear and coal power plants with fleets of service trucks and power lines running everywhere. That's what power utilities used to look like. Elon knows that it's cheaper and better for the environment to get our electricity from the wind and sun. And microgrids and power walls protect us from storms that can knock out power lines. Exactly. So who needs power grid monopolies when we can create our own power cheaper? Elon is disrupting another trillion dollar global industry. A $1.4 trillion industry, but who's counting? Solar and batteries these days are becoming the new trend for businesses and homes to save money and get off the grid. While Elon Musk and Tesla did not invent this concept, they certainly are pushing to make it more affordable and cost competitive to that of what you pay to your utility company for electricity. With the current costs of batteries and solar, it's really starting to look like outside companies like Tesla are going to have a chance to disrupt an old-fashioned monopoly of electric utility companies. To illustrate why this may happen over time, let me walk you through some costs. For example, if we take an average sized home today that uses a national average of 30 kilowatt hours per day and we give that house Tesla's medium sized solar panel array that generates 29 to 39 kilowatt hours per day and give the house the two recommended power walls combined, these will cost you $33,500 with no incentives at today's prices and completely remove you from reliance from the grid forever. The only downside is that this will take about 24 years to get a return on your money at an average United States cost of electricity of about 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Now let's try to be more realistic. Let's assume that in 5 to 10 years from now, which really isn't that far from now, Tesla's manufacturing and selling the same solar and battery package we discussed earlier, but prices have now fallen by 40% over this time horizon. This means it will take just over 14 years to get a return on investment from your Tesla home solar, including no tax breaks and still two power walls. However, one fine detail that must be taught about solar is that it protects the consumer against inflation. This is a huge argument that does not receive really any credit in my opinion. This is because as your solar panels pay themselves off over that 14 year time horizon, there will likely be over 30% inflation in electricity costs assuming about 2% inflation adjusted prices. However, your solar costs were held at a constant cost. This means the true payback period is more likely going to be less than 10 years. This is far better and begins to be a no-brainer for the consumer. This is crucial to understanding. So, if solar panels have a lifespan of about 30 years, which they certainly do, this means you get about 20 20 years of free electricity if your payback period is 10 years. This is when the concept of bankrupting electric utility companies sounds more realistic. Once companies like Tesla begin to drop the costs of solar and batteries more and more, their market share and profitability will grow exponentially. This will make it significantly more difficult for utilities to stay in business and will force company consolidation or bankruptcy.